Ah, but I'm feeling good. Christmas time is coming up. And that's when Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer comes back on television, right? Yeah. This year, th isn't that a great one, Rudolph? It's a like cute, well, 25 years this year it's on television. 25, yeah, people, even guys go, ooh. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, Rod, Rudolph. But I used to, you know, these were primetime television cartoons to us. This was like the Tuesday 8.30 movie of the week. We're serious about this stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're really into it. And I used to get bummed out because everyone was so cruel to Rudolph, you know? Remember the coach? He's like, we're not going to let Rudolph play in any more of those reindeer games. Right, kids? <laughs> it's like, what an asshole, you know? And his parents, his own parents, take a black piece of clay from the ground, stick it on his nose so it sounds like he has a cold. And he's flying around going, she thinks I'm cute! She thinks I'm cute! Hey, Rudolph, get a mirror. You look like a dork, all right, pal? <laughs> then he finally meets Clarice, the beautiful doe, who has the highest singing voice of any cartoon character. <laughs> Remember her song? It's like, there's always tomorrow. <laughs> like, like <laughs> you know, birds and owls are singing backup harmony with her, you know. And then, then they introduce her to Hermie, wants to become a dentist. What a wimp, remember this cat? <laughs> Why am I such a misfit? I am a screaming dipshit, you know? No guts, this character. And his boss cuts him down in front of all the other elves like, Hermie wants to be a dentist! Ha ha ha! It's like, calm down, Pops. You're 40 years old, you're still making toys, so shut up, fat <laughs> man. I shook my head that way too at home. Oh God, I know that, then, then they always take you to the same commercial. Remember that Santa Claus on an Oroco razor going over the mouth. What good is a Norelco razor gonna do to a seven or eight year old boy or girl? I don't think it's gonna work. Play-Doh would have probably been a better sponsor, I think. All right, then they come back from the commercial. They take you to the Island of Misfit Toys. It's like, what kind of sick drug-induced riders are working on this children's show? Remember a train with square wheels? You know? A boat that wouldn't float. A pig without an asshole. So, uh, no, thank you, Santa. You can keep those toys. Thank you very much. Then they introduced the first effeminate character ever in cartoons, of course, the Charlie in the box. Remember him? He's like... Oh, Rudolph, please, take us back with you. We don't want to be on the island of misfit toys, no. We want to be in a little boy's toy room. Yeah, right, Charlie. Yeah. You wanted to go jack off in the box, pal. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> then the ending of the show, right? Rudolph comes in to save the day with his blinking nose. Santa Claus deserves an Academy Award for this scene. You remember this part here? All of a sudden, you, it's like, bomb, bomb. It's like, Rudolph, shut up that goddamn nose! That nose. That wonderful, beautiful nose. And they all start, dun, 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 dun. If I was Rudolph, I'd say, screw you, Santa. You guys have been dogging me this whole half hour. You want me to lead the sleigh? I want 10,000 up front. I want the coach fired. Then I lead the goddamn sleigh. What do you think about that? Thank you. My name's Eddie Brill. You guys have been fun. Have a good night. Thank you. Eddie Brill, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Brill.